I need to get piety. I should just go attack somewhere just to get some piety. Maybe, hmm, they have a lot of men defending. Could just attack Macy, just for the piety. Or I could, I need to attack someone for the salt wife. Let's, let's go get a salt wife as well. Uh, what women would we like? Hmm, well there's obviously Cersei. Should be a nice one to get. Her husband died. What a surprise. Uh, she married a new husband. Leo the Lazy Tyrell. Gives her a claim on the reach, probably. When his father dies. Yep. What a surprise. Uh, who else could we marry? Uh, Brienne of Tarth. <laughs> we could marry Brienne of Tarth. Capture her. Um, I want a claim on the Iron Throne. Really? Just in case we don't get enough piety. What women have a claim? Is it Daenerys? Uh, and Marcel. Where is Marcel? At the moment, Marcel's in the Westerlands. Huh. She's not marrying Tristan. So it looks like their betrothal is off. Uh, I could go and attack Marine. Take Daenerys. She's leading troops. Archibald the big man. She's 33,000 troops. Okay, we can't take that on. But who do I want as my wife? I'm trying to think of any particularly interesting people. Uh, Ariana might be a good wife. Anyone in the Stormlands? No. Just Cersei. Really? Just Cersei would be a good salt wife. Where is Sansa? So Sansa's now gone. He's probably married her off. Where did Sansa go? Sansa has been married to a Doniger. And now she's just at the court. I want Sansa. <laughs> Doniger. Ah. Ooh, that's 3,000 troops. I think that's too much. Damn it. <coughs> so right now we have the men. We just don't have the place to attack. Okay. He's not ready yet. I'm just going to attack for the Volkeen. Oh. Okay. It looks as though who won that? This is though he defeated Stannis. So Stannis has been defeated. Okay. So it looks like Tommen defeated Stannis. So he's now fighting the Vale still. And uh, he's still fighting Stannis. Okay. Interesting. He's back at Claw. Perfect. There we go. Perfect timing. Uh, my vassal Lord Reaver Mathias of Golden Grove has requested that low rank vassals should serve him rather than me directly. Dagmar. Ooh. I do like him better. But I want to keep him happy. He has a point. Yeah, okay, of course. Yep, he's still there. Perfect. Let's go get him. Let's get there quickly. Before anyone notices, uh, new Master of Laws, apparently. Um, Laurent, I guess. Yep, Laurent, make him a bit happier. Jump on here. There we go. Defeated his army quite easily. Okay, and we can assault it. Perfect. That will be easy. Whilst they have been abroad in conflict, we have been reaving the lands loyal to a great ruler. Uh, they will surely be displeased with this flagrant breach of the laws of their land. Proof. We are ironborn. We follow our own way. Of course. Uh, just one second, guys. I'm just going to take a quick break and just get my voice sorted. I'll be back in one second. <coughs> Um... <clears throat> 
Ah. Hey guys. <coughs> <clears throat> ah, that was a bit better. <sighs> and I am back. Really must apologize for that. My throat was just you know, pretty bad, so I wanted to get rid of that so I can just sound a bit more normal. To me, it sounded a bit off. I don't know if for you it was off, but for me it was. So we can just take this quite... Victorian, I'm so sorry, but you can't get married. You can't have heirs. So I'm not allowed to do this. Let's take that then. Perfect. Victory. Ah, while sacking Clue Isle, for all it's worth, for you and your men have looted someone in the castle who owns a Valerian steel sword. Will you take this sword as your own? They may not give it willingly. Yes, I want it. Yes, I shall pay the iron price for it. Adrian Keltigir has been found cowering in one of the towers and eagerly surrenders to your will. He is made to kneel before you outside before all your men and offers up the sword to you in exchange for his life. I now will this for House Greyjoy. Crab's pincer. Excellent. Ex that went much better than I thought. An assault wife. Let's have a look. Ooh, Jane. Eh, seems okay. Uh, Lady Mole, that is his wife, but she's infirm. Eh, he wouldn't want that. And Catelyn Bracken. Again, she's a bit old. Eh, she's 18, but eh. Yeah, none of them, none of them's good enough to be my salt wife. Uh, we gained no prisoners, though. That's a shame. I'm surprised we didn't have any more prisoners. Uh, I'm going to attack this as well. But yes, we have a Valerian steel sword, crab's pincer. I didn't. That, I just feel that suits Greyjoy's really well. A Valerian steel axe. What? Yeah. You know, what? What would better fit us? Um, Stranger's mercy sounds like a good fit, though. Uh, get married. See ourselves on the Iron Throne. Those are two good choices. Um, see ourselves on the Iron Throne. He doesn't necessarily want to get married first. And the dangerous faction, yeah, that faction's getting bigger. We need to get rid of him. Why is this not firing? Uh, should we assault this? Let's not, actually. Do you know what? Let's just go. I can't put it in, so we're just going to get these guys to go on. Okay, looks like Stannis lost uh, the Stormlands, yes. Does he still have... Our niece. No, Aisha was executed by Lord Stannis of the Stormlands. Stannis, how dare you? How dare you? Ooh, Melisandre. Yeah, maybe we could go and attack Dragonstone. Yeah, let's go attack Dragonstone. Just to show these Greenlanders what we are, we'll go attack the former Stannis' home. So now he's attacking uh, the Iron Throne. So now he's fighting the Iron Throne. So Aegon, I don't think, has any chance of winning. Yeah, there's no way he can win it right at this point. Which is a shame for him. That's going to be a short fight. But he's now fighting the Vale still. The Vale still is not really putting up much of a fight. Uh, ah, Brightwater in Brightwater Independence, which is kind of weird because aren't they technically under us? Uh, Farron Cross Independence. Okay, and also... Ah, Brienne of Tarth Independence. So a lot of people are unhappy with his judgment. He's obviously trying to take land from them. We'll send our men here. Time to rape and pillage. Your Grace, Dagon the Drunkard, requests the right to take the black. I'll give you leave. Fine. You're a drunkard, I mean. What do I care what you do? Okay, yeah, we'll take this. Uh, we're not the leader of the assault. Oh, God damn it, these Florence. Okay, fine, we'll leave. What else would be better to assault then? Uh, Storm's End. 
Might be fun to attack. Still has a lot of men. 5,000 though, people defending. Um, I want Cersei. The 5,000 men to defend, it would take too long to take. Um, yeah, let's try and attack someone that's got really weak. This one's quite weak, but would we actually get any people is the question. Buy water. Okay. I just want a really good salt wife, really. Uh, right now, all our men are kind of split up. They're joining these wars. Which is upsetting me because I want them to help me in my war to attack the Iron Throne when we have enough piety. But first to get piety, I need to capture people. So we just go attack. Let's go, go attack everywhere. Anywhere that we can, we'll attack. Try and get as many prisoners as possible so we can then sacrifice them to our watery gods. The Reven party has been roving the coast, but a local patrol has spotted us and is attacking. Being Ironborn, we of course shall meet this challenge, but the leader of their band stands before me with but one fort to kill me. Charge. A duel will ensure of a local master at arms. I'm getting out of here. Uron Crozai, what would you do? I'm not sure what he would do. Do we have the brave traits? We do have brave. Okay, charge. You and Lofa... Okay, Lofa, he's just a trained fighter. Okay, me and Lofa slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening his defense that could possibly exploit. One mistake is all he'll get. Strike, go over on, use your crab's pincer axe. Yes, you easily break through his guard and knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. It's all over. Lofa drops his weapon and throws up his hands. Yield, I yield. No. King Uron does not care for you, Greenlander. Lofa crumples to the ground lifeless. You wipe the blood from your weapon. The deed is done. He is dead. Valamogus. There we go. Perfect. Three days. Okay. Take as quickly as possible. There we go. The sacking of Brinzon Port was most brutal, with many prisoners being taken. In fact, we have so many prisoners, we could well take some of them back to Pike as slaves. Yes, bring them to my camp. Perfect. So we've got no prisoners, but we got slaves. Okay. Um, might as well tap this one, I guess. There we go. The Black Tide. So the Black Tides have all died. Okay. So I've gone over my limit. Need to give black tide to someone. Who am I going to give black tide to then? I could keep black tide to myself and give one of the reach places to one of them. Uh, I want to keep the arbor though. I could give the Manderford to someone. Uh, who's left in my court? Justin. Who's Justin? Oh, he's a clawman. He's a slave. Ah. Okay. Can I just sacrifice him? Alassane. Oh, I have captured people. Okay. Dagon Ironmaker. Russell Merriweather. Okay, Merriweather, they've all brought their families as part of the court. Okay. Anyone else? No, they're all kind of just normal people. Victorian. I still can't give you anything. Damn you. I need to give someone... Justin, I guess I don't really give him anything. Uh, Dagon Ironmaker, I could give him something. Give one of the Iron Makers a piece of land, I guess. Yeah, that's, the, that's probably the best choice, actually. Sadly. Yeah. No one else in particular I want to give it to. Um, should I give him the Manderford? Who owns the castle here? Yeah, Uruk Ironmaker. So Ironmaker owns the arbor. I could give them the arbor. That way, the Ironmakers hold the arbor, so it won't kind of, you know, if one of them has the any inherits, inherits this other one, it might get kind of confusing. Yeah, if he was to die with no children, it would get very confusing. So I'm going to give the arbor to one of the Ironmakers.
Dagon. Dagon or your brother? Which one? He does a better fight. I'm going to give it to former. Let's give him the arbor. Perfect, done. It's a good seat. So that gives us kind of you know, a bit of control. We have high guard and we have this one with uh, two pieces of land in the Iron Islands. The new drowned man. Uh, Uzun. Ah, you can gain me some piety, hopefully. From charity. Collect taxes in Manderford. Uh, and you. Could you uh, oversee province? Go to High Garden. Perfect. Okay. And what to do with my slaves then? So we now have slaves, I guess. Or are they thralls? I guess they're thralls, yeah. So I can't really do much with them. Okay. High Lodge with bright water. So the bright water is part of the Iron Throne. Uh, low rank vassals would serve him. Uh, yep, okay. He has a point. Perfect. There we go. Okay, where to attack next then? So at the moment, the uh, Iron Throne is still facing problems. I want to attack him while he's still facing problems. That would be the best thing to do. Uh, the question is, though, where should I attack? Miles. It looks like Stannis was sent to the Night's Watch. Poor Stannis. What actually happened to them? Did the Night's Watch win? No, it looks like John lost to Winter. White Walkers are still there. Um, Tormund Giant's Bane is gone. So he might be dead. We don't know. Oh no, the North is still there. Still sat there, pretty happy with itself. Um, yeah. Little Finger still has no kids. So if he was to die, Robert the Vale would inherit. He's the Riverlands and the Vale. He's a pretty strong man now. Hmm. 5,000 men still guard this. Could just attack Aegon. 600 men defend this. Let's go attack Macy. Let's go take that. 